The Chrome Task Manager is something not many people seem to know about. Similar to Windows Task Manager or the Activity Monitor on a Mac, this feature allows you to see details of your running tabs from within Chrome. You can force close and kill tabs or processes that you might not want running from right within here. What's also quite handy is pinning tabs. If you right click on any tab you have open, you can press pin tab. This will pin a tab to the left of your tab bar and will stay there open at all times. Even if you close Chrome, the tab will reload back up right where you left off. Talking about tabs, if you right click on any tab, you can send the tab to any device that you have Chrome downloaded on and are signed in on. Super useful if you want to quickly carry on where you left off on the go. Another quality of life feature is the audio and video manager that can be found in the top right area of Chrome. If you have quite a few tabs that are playing music or video, instead of trying to sort through the countless tabs you might have open to stop or start playing something, you can just do it from right within this handy menu. You can even cast to other devices as well, such as your TV for example right from within here. Oh, and just a quick bonus tip for managing your media. If you right click on a tab, you can mute it, and this is sort of like a master disable switch for the audio from this tab, even if you hit play on the website. What's also cool is having certain tabs open when you start Chrome. This is perfect if you always start Chrome and check certain website feeds at the start of the day or whenever you start browsing. It might not seem like a lot, but it can really save you time in the long run opening all these sites manually even if you do have them bookmarked. What can also save a lot of time is closing tabs more efficiently. Whenever you want to close a tab quickly without hunting for that little X, you can simply press the middle mouse button and this will close it if your cursor is on the tab. What's also useful is guest mode. If you need to give your laptop or PC to someone to use for a moment, then you can quickly activate guest mode from this drop down menu. This is different from incognito in a few ways, but one of the main ones is that guest mode won't provide you with suggestions based on what you searched in normal mode, as it's treated as a different person using Chrome now. Next up are tab groups. If you right click on a tab, you can create a new tab group which is essentially a new folder for your tabs, which can easily be collapsed and organised with colours as needed. What's also quite useful is the ability to open different types of media right from within your browser as opposed to having to switch between different multiple apps to play audio or video files for example. You can even open text and other types of files right from within Chrome too. Another quick tip is to do with bookmarks. Instead of just bookmarking websites and leaving the text, consider removing the text and just leaving the icons for a super clean look. This way you can even fit a lot more bookmarks into the bookmarks bar without having to add more folders. So those are 10 quick tips and tricks for Chrome all covered in under 3 minutes. If you have any other ideas or suggestions for things you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. Hope you found this condensed video valuable and if you did, please consider subscribing. Anyway, see you later and thanks for watching.